On Thursday, Ethiopia's Ministry of Justice announced that it withdrew criminal charges against civil and military leaders of the Tigray People's Liberation Front and will have their cases dealt within the framework of transitional justice. The agency said that taking into account the international experience and according to the Pretoria Peace Agreement signed between the federal government and the TPLF, it has been agreed that crimes related to conflict should be dealt within the framework of transitional justice. That suggests that criminal charges will also be withdrawn from other parties to the conflict, such as Ethiopian National Defense Forces, Amhara Regional Forces, Fano Militia, and others who fought alongside the Ethiopian government. But we've reached out to the Ministry of Justice for clarity on that, and we're waiting to hear back. A lot of people reacting to the news on social media were outraged, saying this was giving a blanket pass to criminals who dragged the country into a two-year war. Ethiopia's human rights head Daniel Bakala tells us that the Ministry of Justice's withdrawal of these charges should not be construed as a blanket amnesty or exoneration from accountability for serious human rights violations committed by all parties to the conflict. Bakala added one element of the transitional justice process is criminal accountability for serious violations. What is transitional justice? Well, it includes some standard components like truth-telling and seeking commissions, justice and accountability, and measures to prevent the crimes from happening again. The joint investigation between the Ethiopian Human Rights Commission and the UN High Commissioner, published in November 2021, recommended transitional justice as a way of dealing with conflict crimes. It also found that all parties to the conflict committed atrocities. That joint investigation only covered the war until June 2021, but was one of the most comprehensive reports on the conflict. It was also seen as relatively objective since it was a partnership between an Ethiopian agency and the United Nations' highest human rights office. Since then, a separate UN commission on Ethiopia was formed. Most African countries saw it as a political move and voted against it, but it passed, replacing the joint investigation mechanism. The mandate of the UN Commission will expire at the end of this year. Transitional justice doesn't mean perpetrators aren't held accountable, but the question is, how will it be implemented and what domestic and international political factors will influence it? I'm Hermela Aragawi. Thanks for watching.